Okay, so what I've got here is a frame grab from a movie, and I have quite a bit more blurring on the left side of this frame than I do on the right. I want to even this out somewhat. You can see about right here is where it uh, starts getting blurry. That's where it starts the pass. So we'll go over to the quick mask mode, click on that go to the gradient tool. And if the gradient tool is not showing up, it'll be the paint bucket. You just click and hold on that until the gradient tool comes up. You're just using the standard black and white gradient. Black to transparent is perfectly fine. What I want to do is start, I'm going to go about here to here. And I want to mask off this section. And then I get back out of the uh, quick mask, go back into the standard mode. And you'll see that it's selected just that part of the image. And in there, I can apply whatever I need to that. I can apply adjustment layers to this. I can do a lot of different things, and it'll only affect what is selected. But let's say I don't want to do anything destructive to it. So I'm going to do a copy and paste. Now, a copy and paste gets me this. And with that selected, I'm going to just turn it, I'm going to convert it to a smart object. Now, that allows me to go into here and apply, let's do the smart sharpen to that side. And you can see a, an example here, if I ramp that up, it's really a drastic, so you can see that it is affecting that side. Now, this is just one way to do it. There are other ways to get rid of the blur. But here I'm just going to do a quick smart sharp. I'm going to basically tip the highlights a little bit and just going to click OK. What occurred because I put it in as a smart object, it actually moved the filter to smart filters. So that means this is non destructive now. I can turn these filters off and you can see the effect on that all by itself. And because I've got this on a separate layer, I can turn it off and I still have my original layer. Uh, there's nothing affecting that whatsoever. Anything else I do on this layer, let's say I want to go up through here and work an adjustment layer like the shadows and highlights. I can bring that up a little bit. I'm going to drop it here. And again, I'm going to just lower this a tad and then click OK. That also, because this is a smart layer, goes to the smart filters underneath here, which I can then turn off or on at will, non-destructively. I can double click here. This allows me to change the blending mode. So if I want to make that darker, if I want to screen it, whatever else I can, it's through there. I can also just right click on it and go to edit smart filter itself. And that gets me the shadow highlights and I can adjust that again, non-destructively. Uh, as I wish. It's one way to do this, and it saves you a lot of time. You can always come back to it, make these adjustments. You still have your original image to play with. You can turn on or off any filter or any of the adjustments from this menu, which normally is a destructive process if you don't do it in this way. And that's it. So if you like what you saw, just give me a thumbs up or subscribe. That's an excellent way to show me you like it as well. If you have comments or questions, please uh, feel free to put that in the comments section below. And thank you.